Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Foster? Fine, thank you. Making dinner. Okay, good, good. Enjoy your dinner too. Okay. Uh, so today is June 3rd, 2020. Alvi, Aleida, Henry, Victor, how was your day? Fine, teacher. Hello. I was sleeping a lot today. Really? <laughs> yes. All right. Are you lucky? <laughs> was it yes. raining where you live? Yes, a lot. Okay. Um, is anybody in the group uh, living in Lourdes? Nobody lives in Lourdes. No. Okay, because I, I hear it was raining like early in the morning, um, but during the day it was it was normal. There was no rain whatsoever, and it was a little bit sunny even in the afternoon. So maybe the weather is going to be better tomorrow. Maybe. Mm. <laughs> but uh, according to the predictions, you know, they have said that uh, tomorrow is a day with a lot of rain. So who knows? Anyways. Okay, so today is June 3rd. Um, do you guys remember okay. what we spoke about yesterday? Who remembers yesterday's topics? We was talking about the pronunciation of uh, two verbs. Good. Yes. And what exactly did we say about pronunciation on two part uh, verbs? Do you remember? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. What is it? Yes. I remember, teacher. Uh, I was uh, about. I was uh, learning about the stress. Uh, exactly. The intonation or the stress. What is teacher? Okay. The intonation. Now, intonation is different. Um, if I said, what's your name? You know, in, in that case, my intonation is of a question. Um, the stress is when you give a particular emphasis uh, to a certain part of the word. Okay. So, so if I said uh, transportation, where is the stress in the word transportation? Transportation. Where is the stress? Transportation. Yes. Transportation. So, T is the part with the stress. So, intonation is how you sound. Like, uh, is it the intonation of a question, intonation of an exclamation, or your surprise? Is it the tone of voice that you use? So we mentioned that uh, when we are pronouncing two part verbs, uh, the stress is equally divided. So it's not the verb, it's not the preposition that has the stress. Nothing in the, in, in the verb has the stress. So the, the, the stress is equally divided. Yes. Okay. So what else did we say about, uh, besides the stress of two part verbs? Who remembers? What else did we say? Uh -huh. Do you take notes when, we, when, when you're receiving the class? 
Yes, I do. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, it's it's always good to take notes. It's like when you go to university, when you go to night school, an academy, whatever, you must take notes of, of, of the things that you hear, especially if it's new for you. So what else did we say yesterday? Not natural disaster. Yeah, we, we spoke about natural disasters. Can you mention examples of natural disasters? Aquars, Earthquakes. Um, Flo floods. Floods. Uh -huh. floods. Tsunamis. Tsunamis. Mm -hmm. Okay. So why are tsunamis... Hurricanes. Hurricanes, yes. Hurricanes and tsunamis, they usually provoke floods because there is too much water. Now, what is the most common natural disaster in El Salvador? The most common. Storms. What is it? Bad weather. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and yeah, it can be the weather or it can be earthquakes. Earthquakes. Yeah. So the weather, like what we experienced yesterday and the day before yesterday, and also earthquakes. Yes. All right. Yes. Um, are there any questions about yesterday? No. Okay. Now, um, when you need something or when you want to make a request to another person, how do you usually make that sentence that you want to send? How do you usually ask for things? Using can or could. Okay, can or could, very good. Can you please lend me your pencil or sharpener? Could you please give me a ride? Can or could, very good. What are other forms to ask for requests? Would you mind? Exactly. Wouldn't would you mind? Okay. So can, could, or would you mind? Um, would you mind? Yeah. So if you want to sound polite and like with someone with good manners, it's always good that you use models when you want to make a request. So let's say you're okay. you're you're attending the class. And maybe someone in your house is making noise. So you ask this person in a very nice way, could you please, can you please, or would you mind staying a little bit quiet? I'm in class. So um, that is going to be one of the topics that we will see today. Let me show you an image. Uh -huh. Okay, do you see the picture? Yes. 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 All right. Yes. So, um, request with models and would you mind? So, this is something that is in the platform. So, like I told you the first day, the idea of the, of the session is to reinforce uh, what is there in the platform. So, like you guys said at the beginning, we have can, could, or would to ask for something. Uh, I need a volunteer to read these three examples, please. Me, teacher. Okay, please. I can read. Go ahead. Okay. Model plus a support of bear. Can you turn the stereo off? Could you close the door, please? Could you please take your garbage out? All right, good. Thank you, Gloria. So um, as the questions or requests that Gloria read, you know, it, there is a big difference when you say, can you turn the stereo off? 
could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? And remember, when you use magic words, that's even better. Now, what are the magic words that we usually use? Please. 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 What else? Please. What is, what is the, you. what is the, thank you. Yes, thank you. What is the expression you use when you go between two people? Excuse, Excuse me. me. Excuse me. Okay. So what happens if by accident you push someone? What do you say to this person? Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Excuse me. Right. So those are magic words. And the word uh, magic is literal. You know, you change all the situation when you use these words. Please, excuse me. I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay. Um, are there any questions with the three examples that Gloria read? Are they clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now I need someone else to read the next three. Would you mind plus Jaron? Volunteer. Plus Jaron. Yes, please. Would you mind would you mind turning the stereo down? Would uh -huh. you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? All right, good. Thank you, Rick. So as you can see, we also have the option of using would you mind and the verb you're going to be using needs to be in the gerund form it has to be with the ing form um any questions okay. or comments here <laughs> questions there someone's praying <laughs> Okay, um, any questions with the examples that we have here? No, no, clear. Okay, so remember, yeah, if you are in your house or you're with a friend or something, usually we don't use can you, could you, would you, would you mind? And, and, and we're more casual when we talk and we say, turn off the stereo, close the door take your garbage out and we don't use those uh, models to sound more polite. So if you don't have any questions here, I'm going to um, show you a paper where with some exercises. Do you see that one? Yes, teacher. All right. So here we have 12 examples um, where you need to imagine that you need you need this uh, you need these favors from someone so you need to apply what we previously said um, about this so let me send you this okay so I just send it to the whatsapp chat or you can take a screenshot if, if you wish from, from the computer now or from your cell phone. So, so I'm going to assign you to work in pairs so you guys can complete these questions in order for you to use them in a real life uh, scenario. So I'm going to assign you in groups uh let me we got 13 people i'm going to make six pairs so here we go so it, 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 are the instructions clear class yes. Yes, yes. yes all right here we go
Ricardo. Yes. Okay, so you're not joined yet. Okay, now you are. Um, Ricardo, if you want. <laughs> Sorry, I can see the pic the the picture right now because I'm going too close to another another room. I went okay. in here. Yes. Okay. Can you mm, can you leave? Oh, can you leave Remember? my yeah. Remember, Tell me. remember, remember that we are going to use please or um, would you mind, right? To lend me some money for lunch. Oh, that one, yes. <laughs> Correct. Okay. Um, would you mind if I... The next one is, could you meet to the airport and then me up next week. <clears throat> I don't know if we can say, could you drop me to the airport? And then? And then pick me up. Pick me next up week? next week, yeah. <clears throat> Makes sense, yeah. But I don't know if... Uh... Drop me, como que lo deja a uno en un lugar, como... Ajá, y lo... Luego regresa. Drop, drop me off. Drop me off. Era como llevarlo, ¿verdad? Ajá, como dejarlo. Drop. Drop me o drop off. No, no porque tiene el pronoun y ese solo puede ir en medio. O drop. Yes. Could you... Could you drop me? I think if we only use drop, it's okay. Or could you let me? Could you drop Which me? number is that? It's number the number four, four teacher. Could you take me to the airport or drop me? Yeah, take me to the airport and then pick me up next week oh, okay yeah okay take me or drop me teacher take me take, take me. me take me is better me. because if you want to say ir a dejar you need to use the preposition off and oh, off okay. is, is not included in, in this case okay yes okay mm -hmm. Teacher, please, can you repeat me uh, about the difference in the take me and drop off? Okay, take me, take me is very general. Like if I need a ride, I can say, can you take me to El Poliedro? Can you take me to Santa Tecla? Okay. Now, drop me off is ir a dejar. So it's like a little bit more specific. Can you drop me off? In at... a specific uh, exactly. place. Exactly, exactly, exactly. 
Okay. Yeah, so that will be like the main difference between take me and drop me off. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, good. I was wondering if you, uh, this report, I don't know what to say. Which number? Oh, uh, number seven. Seven, I was wondering if you could type this report for me. Uh, if yeah. you can send this report for me. Okay. I mean, that, that's only an, an, uh, an option, a suggestion. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right. You. For me. Your car. Mm -hmm. Can you borrow me? Borrow me your car. 11. Um, in, in uh, do you guys remember the differences between borrow and lend? No. Okay, um, borrow is pedir prestado, lend uh -huh. is dar prestado. So uh -huh. instead, of, instead of saying borrow, you can you, you should say lend. Can you lend lend. me your car? Okay. Okay. So bor you. borrow is when you need it. Lend is when you're helping someone. Okay. All Thank right. you so much. Good, good. Okay, you mind? What you Teacher. Mean? Yes. We have a question. Ask me. About the eight sentence. No, no, no. Seven. Uh, Seven. Okay. Seven sentences. Uh -huh. About uh, the verb delivery. Okay. It's it's correct to use when someone uh, send I don't know any stuff with other person or yes or yes, yes. delivery. Yeah, but usually you use delivery um, if it's a business oh. like. Papa John's, uh, Super Select. Like a full, full correct. Uh, mm. Not necessarily food because uh, like, like right now that we have the emergency, uh, people, mm -hmm. um, they deliver food, but not only food, they can deliver other objects from the supermarket or, or uh, a letter, a package, they deliver it for you. Yeah. Okay. So you can apply it with anything that is brought to your house. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Oh. Yes. Okay. Okay. So the correct answer in this, the the sentence seven uh -huh. is may, maybe can be send this report for me. Sure. I was wondering if you can send this report for me. I was and, wondering oh, okay. if you could type this report type. for me. Okay. Oh, okay. Sure. Type. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Next one. Would you mind if I, your book? If I take or if I use? Yeah your book and the last one is would you mind lend me some money for my lunch yes. <laughs> yeah. lend me yes. or give me <laughs> give, give me some money for me Yes, that's all. That's all. Okay. Hey, teacher. Can you guys we finish? finish the exercises? Hey. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, um, just, uh, teacher, we had yes. uh, but we had a question because yes. there there was one sentences that the we don't use just a verb. Okay. For example, the fourteen is. Would you mind? Lend what number? The fourteen. Okay. Would you mind lend me some 
morning for my lunch? Yes, lending me. Would you mind lending, lending me? me? Lending yes. me. Yes. Okay. Remember that the form of the verb has to be with the ing form or gerund, if you want to call it like that. Gerund. Okay. Yes. Gerund okay. or ing. All right. Okay. Thank okay. you. Teacher. So let's return. With wool. Which okay, one are you doing? Kidding. Number eight. Eight. Okay. Would you mind visiting? Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. Would, would you mind? Okay. Let, let me check. Uh, number eight. Would you mind visiting to my place? Sure. Or okay. going to my place? Uh, going. Okay. Yeah, good. Then I was wondering if you. I have a doubt and some, some of the sentences. I'm not sure, but um, for example, uh, number eight or number number nine. Number nine. Mm -hmm. Number nine. I was wondering if you. Or uh, it could be, I was wondering if you can call my teacher and say that I'm sick. Call. Can yes. call. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's possible. Well, you know, usually mm -hmm. students, um, sometimes they, they speak directly with the facilitator, but they prefer to send messages with, with um, mm -hmm with a classmate. So can you please tell him or send him a message or, you know, mm -hmm. so, so that is possible. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if you can tell my teacher. Oh. Mm -hmm. Right. You guys finished with all the exercises? Yeah. Good. All right. So let's go back to the main session. All right, so um, I see that you guys are doing pretty good with this exercise here. Um, just remember that when you finish doing the exercise, you can always talk about um, other things. Um, so the idea is that you don't stay quiet. So the idea is that you practice as much as possible when you join the session. Um, are there any questions about the last exercise? No teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, I I I have a doubt in yes, sir. the sentences. Would you mind if I? The next part uh, can be filled by can, or or some verb, uh, some other verb. Uh, which number are you talking about, Foster? Uh, Thirteen or fourteen. Okay. Would you mind if I? Um, would you mind if I stay, if I use your book, if I read your book, if I can mm -hmm. read your book? Would you mind lending me some money for my lunch? Now, when you use mm -hmm. if I, then, uh, then it changes a little bit the scenario. So the form of the verb needs to be in base form. Would you mind if I use your car so you cannot say would you mind if i am using your car so it usually comes with the base form of the verb mm, and 14 it can be it can we can say would you mind uh borrowing or lending or lending lending me some money for my lunch <laughs> Do you remember? Do you remember the difference between um, borrow and, and and lend? 
more or less. Okay, remember that you say borrow when you are the person that needs the favor. So you say, mm -hmm. can I borrow your cell phone? Can I borrow $20? Mm -hmm. Now you use lend when you are the person helping someone else. So you tell the other person, um, can you lend me your car for one hour? Or can you lend me $20 and I'll pay you next week? So borrow mm -hmm. and lend, you know, they go together. The difference is you say borrow when you mention the person that needs the favor. You say lend when you mention the person that is helping the other person. Okay. Yes. Okay. Any Thank other you. questions or comments? Anybody? No? No, okay. All right. Um, so let's, um, do you see the page? Can you see the exercises here? No, yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Okay, hold on. I forget that I'm... Okay, do you now? Yes. 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 All right. So, um, can someone read the first question, please? Could you lend me $20? Could you lend me $20? Now, could you lend me $20? When you use you, you're talking about that person is going to give you the $20. If you mention yourself, you would have said, can I borrow $20? The message is exactly the same, but the person giving and receiving changes. So once again, if you're mentioning the person that is helping the person, you use land. If you mm -hmm. mention the person that is receiving the favor, then you use borrow. Okay, could you lend me $20? What is the best answer for that question? Are you kidding? I don't have any cash. All right, good. So that is one. Now, um, let's do number two. Can you get me a sandwich? What is the best answer for that one? I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Uh, Maybe I'm really sure, Napoli, I'd be glad to. Uh huh. Uh, really yeah, I mean, sorry, the, the, but, but busy. Yeah. Um, or you can also say that I'm sorry. I'll do it right away. You know, because maybe the person arrived to your house like 20 minutes ago, and you hadn't offered anything. You said, "I'm sorry." I mean, that's just a possibility. So, what would be the most logical answer for number two? I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Okay, so I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. What about number three? Can you help me move to my new house? Sure, no problem. I'll be glad to. Okay, let's check that one. Then we have number four. Would you mind not sitting here? Sorry, Sorry, I didn't, I didn't realize, realize the seat was, was taken. Good. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize the seat was taken. And the last one, um, not the last one, next one. Could you move your car from my space? I'm sorry, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'll do it right away. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll do it right away. Then we have number six. Would you mind not talking so loudly? We're sorry. We're sorry. We'll talk more quick, more quietly. More quietly. Okay. So let's check the answers, and we send it. And all your answers were good, real good. Congratulations. Um, any questions about uh, the exercise? Uh, 
we just finished? No. No question. No? Okay, so let's change. Um, how much do you read? Do you read a lot? Yes. Okay. What kind of reading do you do? Preparation. And um, novelas. Okay, novels. Novels. English or Spanish? Spanish. All right. Why not in English? <laughs> because I don't have books. Oh, okay. Some, and internet, some bad, and internet there are many books in English. Yeah, and the internet has, has, has many options. Yes, I have mm. a Kindle also, but the reading is not, not good if you don't understand 100%. Exactly. And that's a very good observation. Uh, when you read something and when you select your reading, you have to ask yourself how much you understand from what you're reading. And uh, also it's not expected that you understand every single word in the text because sometimes you can guess the meaning of the word by the rest of the content. So you can mm -hmm. say, okay, I guess the meaning of this word is this. So, but that's a very good observation. Like it doesn't make any sense to read something and you feel a little bit lost. So that would be like a waste of time. So um, anybody else reads uh, here? I teacher, I I like to read in recent in recently. Recently. Recently, I bought a a book a, called called a, the Gears, the Lost Gear in Paris. Okay. A, it's in English and. I liked the the read by uh, but I prefer read in in how do you say in uh, impressa printed in, in printer because uh, I like uh, take a note uh, in the new vocabulary exactly exactly Good. Um, so uh, what about the others? Do you prefer, okay, so let's say, yeah, I read the newspaper, I read magazines. Do you prefer the digital version or do you prefer the printed version? What is better for you? Printer. For me, the printer. printer. <laughs> but do yeah, you know printer. what, teacher? There is, uh -huh. a, there is a, a real good option to read English. Okay. In my case, I have a, a Kindle. Oh. Okay. It's, a, it's a, like a, a book, but uh, the advantage, advantage of that is the is it has a dictionary included. Okay. And if you don't understand a word, for example, you press on the word, and you have the meaning of that word. Right. It, and you have the meaning in English. Good. Good. Yeah, that's an advantage. Very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, Kindles are good and, and they were made uh, mainly for readers, you know, like, okay, you have a reading option, you know, and it's uh, uh, the size uh, of the Kindle is very acceptable too. Uh, teacher, I can say something. Sure, please. And rec recently, I also bought a book in Kindle application. And it's an interesting and a sad book because it reads about an astronaut that they that they death over there in the atmosphere when they coming again or coming back to the to the to the earth, right? And they uh, die seven astronauts die over there, and the book is called In the Age of Time, in the okay. which the seven astronauts die, and it's a very sad story. And I I'm, I'm reading right now. Oh. Because um, yes, I uh, I feel very very sad for that story. Okay, and that was a real story, Ricardo. Yes, it's it's a real story, and it happened in in 2003, where the SDS 
107 um, mission uh, of NASA and the the Columbia Columbia um, was uh, was disintegrated in the atmosphere. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's 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 always good, you know. Like everybody has different likes and dislikes, you know. Like yes, I prefer, yes. uh, I like to read things that really happened. Yes, me too. Yeah, good, good. Anybody else has any comments about reading? Teacher, I, I think that uh, the people that is a, like a customer read books and printed printed. Okay. Books. Uh huh. Because I think that now the teenagers and the millennials, they prefer a uh, read in the internet. Right, right. Yeah, it's true. It, it, your age is also a factor on, yeah. on how you prefer to read. If you prefer the printed version or if you prefer digital. Yeah. I, I prefer the printed version all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's me too. It's cheaper in the internet. What is it? It's cheaper if you do it on, in the internet. Right, right. Exactly. The printer I try is to. more expensive. I try right. both, both ways. Yeah, both, both ways are fine because the idea is to uh, learn more or entertain yourself. You know, like some people do reading for... Uh, as a hobby, you know, in my free time, I read. So that's it. And it's true, you know, like they, if you call them and like, hey, what are you doing now? They tell you I'm reading, you know, so it's a very nice way to spend uh, your that's free fine. time. Yeah, your free time. Yes. Now, what are the benefits of reading? Let me ask you that question. What are the benefits of reading in English or in first Spanish? Of all, first of all, Have uh, a very good memorized thing. Yes. You can improve your vocabulary and your grammar. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's Good. All right. Good. Any other yes. benefits? Um, we learn Perfect a lot teacher. of new things. Right. You learn new things. Definitely. Okay. And, the, and the, my words about the, um, let me see the word, imagination. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and that's part of the, I think it's a requirement that when you're reading a book, you have to put yourself in the book. And, and mm -hmm. like you said, use your imagination. Use, you know, like you have to think about, okay, I'm reading this. And you start picturing that scenario in your, in your mind. And, and it works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Okay. Very, very exciting. Okay. Any other comments or questions about reading? Yeah. Benefits? And sometimes reading, uh, we learn or correct some words that uh, sometimes we we write in a mis in a mistaken way. Right. In a wrong way. Right. Yeah. And sometimes you know, and that's the problem that uh, if you use the language and you mispronounce something, people usually don't say anything. And since people accept the way you talk you think that it's okay the way you talk, the way you pronounce things, you know? So when you read the printed version, you say, so which one is correct? The one that I'm reading or the one that I use? So you investigate, you search, you say, oh my goodness, I have been using this word, word in a bad way for the past 15 or 20 years and you correct yourself, you know? But reading has a lot of, uh, 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 advantages and benefits, you know. Yes, I think that one of the advantages to read in a digital way is that if any word that I don't know, I only uh, put any any application there and, and, I, and I listen the right pronunciation. Right, right. Yeah, and, and it's always good, you know, like uh, when you are conscious and you say to yourself, well, I read, number one, because I like it, but Besides that, I learn, I improve my vocabulary, I, I see how grammar is applied the correct form. So there are many benefits, you know, and, and if, if your goal is to improve grammar, reading is the answer. When you okay. read something and you see it again and again and again, 
you internalize it. And when you internalize something, you use it naturally, you know, so you don't, you don't need to uh, be reading grammar books or, or, or someone explaining to you. So if you read in English, that's a very good sign. Okay. okay. So um, I ask you this because our next exercise is related with, um, with, with reading. Um, with reading, exactly. Yes, so let okay. me, um, where are we? You share. Okay, do you guys see the image? Yes, teacher. All right. What's the name of the article? Oh, oh not yet. We are seeing the same. The same picture. Or, okay. Yeah. Okay, the hold same. on. All right. Do you see it now? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Mm -hmm. huh. Not yet. No. Yes. Okay. Uh, right now, we are watching we are seeing right now okay what's the name of the article neighbor versus neighbor, versus neighbor. neighbor. okay now can you mention what are the typical reasons why we have a neighbor against another neighbor why would you argue with your neighbor differences uh -huh. what kind of differences Different point of view. Behaviors. Um, okay, behaviors, yes. Behaviors and models. Uh-huh. Okay, what else? And different activities. Okay. Low so, sounds. Sounds, right, right. I don't know if that ever has happened to you that you live in a place where your neighbor plays music 10 or at 11 p.m., you know, and you're trying to sleep or early yeah. in the morning. They are making French sounds. Right. No, just... right. Or they have animals and the animals or... come near your house. They do what they have to do and they never clean. Or they How practice music? They practice any instrument at the midnight. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right, any other comments or suggestions about why neighbors might have differences? And um, different cultures sometimes. Yep, yep. If you are in the States, Canada, where there is variety of cultures, that might be an issue too. Yes. yes. All right, so we have three different scenarios. Uh, volunteer to read the first one. The woman yeah. in the apartment upstairs plays her piano after midnight. Aha, uh -huh. so imagine your neighbor playing the piano at 12.30 p.m. or a.m. actually. Mm -hmm. You know, even if she's good, nobody wants uh, your sleep to be interrupted, you know, so. But what about the second bullet? The family across the street never cleans up their jar. The garbage blows into your yard. Exactly. And the last one? The guy next door always parks his car in front of your driveway. Okay, good. So what will you do in each situation? The woman plays uh, uh, the piano after midnight. What will you do in that situation? Mm. Speak with her. Yep. Call, the, her. call the police. Cold calm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the best thing you can do is like try to speak with her. Look, I know you're a good, you know, yes, you have it, a good talent and everything, but. It depends. It yes. depends because if I'm friend, uh, if I have a very, uh, a very good relationship with her, try to talk with her. All right. During the day about the problem, right? Okay. Yes, but at the, mid, at the midnight, I think I don't have the humor to yep. talk here. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I just call the police at the, the, right. the first yeah. option. 
Everybody's yes. very angry for that. The only thing that you want at that time at that time is to sleep. Right. Uh, yeah. Listen, yeah, and, and that's why I told you, even if she has a good talent and she's really good playing the piano, I mean, after twelve midnight, nobody wants to hear anybody <laughs> playing the, the piano. Exactly. Okay. What about the second music? scenario? Uh-huh. But the music that she's she's playing, if you like to, you're okay. going to you're going to make company to her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about the second scenario? The family across the street never cleans. And when it's windy, everything goes to your yard. What do you do in that case? It's a big problem because everybody wants to see their backyard in a clean way. Right. Yep. Anybody take else? Out take out the garbage and and throw out to the to <laughs> their jar again. Okay. <laughs> yeah, especially if you have spoken with them before, like man, they never <laughs> learn. Exactly. Take your garbage. Yeah. <laughs> and what about the last one? Someone else has an opinion. Someone that is parking uh, their car in front of your driveway. I'm trying mm -hmm. to park to parking my car and Con the before, before him. <laughs> okay. Someone else, what will you do in that case? Call for a grua teacher. Okay. How do you say grua in English? I don't know. Well, that is to put in problems. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how do you say, but I... Yo le pincharía las llantas. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. So you, you, you will give them a, a flat tire. Flat tire. Okay. Flat tire. Or, like, if, if they insist and you have spoken before, you call the towing truck. T-O-W, I-N-G, towing truck. Towing truck. Okay. Uh, towing truck. Towing. Towing truck. So let's start with the reading. I need a volunteer to read the first part. Me, teacher. All right, Gloria, please. Okay. Have things like this ever happening to you? If so, you may ask yourself, who are these people? Why are they, they doing these things to me? All right, good. Thank you. So, you know, like sometimes you ask yourself, why are they doing these things to me? And you take it personal, but sometimes for them, it's, it's normal. It's like, that's the way they act. And, you know, okay. Uh, another volunteer to read the second paragraph. Anybody? Mm -hmm. These days, these days, many people don't like us. Sometimes we share a friendly wave or say hello, but a lot of people don't even know their neighbors' names. When you don't know someone, it's easy to build up frustration and resentment. You think maybe they like to annoy me, or maybe they do it deliber deliberately. Okay, good, thank you. Another volunteer for the next paragraph. Believe it or not, your neighbors probably don't mean to irritate you. Often they don't even know that they are getting on your nerves. So before you take string measures to fix the problem, <laughs> you should discuss it with them first. Right, so. right. Next paragraph, someone else. When you approach your neighbors, you should talk to them in friendly manners. Mm -hmm. Com compliment compliment their children or do something else to make them feel good. Then explain the situation, and if you can think of something solution, of a simple solution, suggest it. Very good. Someone else. Next one. If talking doesn't work, ask another person to help. This person can listen to both sides of the history and help you and your neighbor resolve the situation. All right. Can you please finish it, uh, Alexander? Sure, or, no problem. Okay. Finally, sometimes it's a good idea to 
avoid the problem. Depending on the issue, it may be it might be best to just stay up of your neighbor's way. All right, good, thank you. All right, are there any questions about what you guys uh, just read? Pronunciation or meaning of vocabulary? Okay. No, teacher. The complement, their children's, how do you yeah. say, how do you compliment. pronounce it? Compliment. 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 Yes. I find out about this word and the meaning is more or less and to give uh, something good to the children. Exactly. As birth. Yeah. Yeah, in this case, they, they um, when they say compliment their children, is saying something good about them. Okay. Yep. Teacher. Yes. The deliver, deliver. Deliberately. Deliberately. What's the meaning of that word, deliberately? Deliberadamente. Uh -huh. And that means on purpose. On purpose, yeah. On purpose. Yeah. So it says, maybe they like to annoy me, or maybe they do it deliberately. Like they do it on purpose just to get you angry. Yes. Any other questions or comments? No? Okay, so we're going to stop right here. Uh, this story is in the platform. So if you want to read it tonight, go to unit one of the platform, you will find it there. And if there is something you can, uh, you would like to ask, you ask me tomorrow when we meet again. So thank you very much for your time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Okay. All right, so you guys have a good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night.